It's my very great pleasure to introduce all of you to Terry Bolter, who's the head of the MBA program at RMIT. A couple of you have mentioned that um, the design thinking elements of our assessment um, are unexpected or unusual, and um, which is unexpected to me, I have to say. So I and I thought. Terry has um, put a lot of work into bringing design thinking into the program. So I was hoping that you might start off by telling us why we have design thinking in our MBA program. Excellent. Thanks, Kath. Yes, I'd love to. Um, there's actually two things going on uh, simultaneously. The first thing is that the, uh, our executive MBA program, we're moving towards uh, international accreditation with EFMD, European Foundation of Management Development. So we're going for specific program accreditation, and that's called EPAS. So EPAS is program uh, accreditation, which is internationally recognized as a quality uh, indicator. So with EPAS accreditation, anyone that has a degree from RMIT, uh, an MBA from RMIT, will be able to take that anywhere in the world, and it would be recognized as what kind of standard that program is being delivered at. So one of the things with EPAS is um, they accredit MBA programs um, and what they recognize is that many programs uh, um, are similar in the sense that they teach accounting, they teach finance, they teach marketing, their strategy, etc. So most programs, MBA programs around the world, have this common course content. There may be a couple of little things that are different, but generally the course content is pretty standard across country. Uh, but EPAS is also interested in diversity. So when they look at programs, one of the first questions they ask is what's different about you? You're an MBA program, but what's different about you, say, from your competitor down the street? So most programs have some kind of um, uh, niche or some kind of difference, point of difference, which makes them uh, stand out. So here at RMIT, we're a global university of technology and design. And design is at very much the heart of RMIT. We have one of the strongest architect schools. We've got a fabulous fashion and design school. We've got uh, fabulous graphic design. Uh, so what we're doing to differentiate our program is to pull in from other parts of the university this design influence, but using it specifically for uh, business problem solving. So a lot of people may get confused and they hear the word design and they think that it might have an aesthetic um, meaning to it. You know, maybe it's the, in, you know, design, it's got color, or it's got the font, or it's got some kind of graphical influence. Sure, that's what products and services look like after they've been designed, but we're not talking about design in that context. Although I have to say, give me an assignment in comic font, comic sans, <laughs> <laughs> and I will try very hard not to penalize you for it, but I can't promise. <laughs> Yeah, no, that would be that, and that, and that's what design thinking is about. It's, Excuse me. It's about thinking a little bit differently and thinking outside the box. Really, at the heart of design thinking methodology for problem solving is looking at the end user of your uh, of your problem as being the most important ingredient. So empathy is a really important idea within design thinking. Really understand your client before you decide uh, what the solution will look like. Mm -hmm. uh, and what that means is, um, you know, often in business, decisions are made in a linear way. You know, I've got a problem in accounting. I know what the problem is. You've got to restructure that group. So here's some resources, and this is what I want it to look like when it's finished. And so uh, they've got a predetermined idea of what the solution will be before they've even attacked the problem properly. Design thinking methodology for problem solving looks at it a bit different. 
they try to really understand the you know what is happening to the end user focus on the client or the customer um, and there's a lot of different techniques that can be employed in order to do that you know mind mapping or or um, 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 following the customer through their touch points uh, you can take uh, photographs of customers as they're experienced different parts of the of the services from the organization so it's really trying to get at the heart of the problem first before designing the solution and that's what it's about and it's about this word again I'll, I've said it four times I think by now and I'll say it one more time it's about empathy understand what the end user wants to experience and then what you can do is you can re help to redefine that problem so that you come up with a solution that is uh, uh, more long-standing so really design is kind of like it's not a linear process but there's a number of steps that you can follow you know the first is understand the problem first really research it empathize with the end user then what you got to do is reframe that problem like you have an original brief but after you've done the empathy exercise then what is the real problem here now and then once you've got a good fluid flavor for what the real problem is is then you ideate and now this is the really exciting stuff this is where you get to uh, think outside the box be creative you know be that uh, uh, five-year-old that you used to be you know op open your mind to any possibilities no matter how ridiculous uh, it may initially seem and then what you can do is when you've got a big set of viable or possible not viable but possible options then what you can do is you start bringing those down into realistic groups about what is possible and what's achievable with the resources at hand and then what you do in this process is, okay, here's my solution. Let's prototype it, a low um, resolution prototype. Let's just see what that would look like. If it's a product, you could actually just use a uh, cardboard and, and some ribbon or whatever to just try to design what that, that end product would look like and then pass it around and get feedback again from your customer. Or your client and so you know you prototype you give back to the client the client gives feedback you re-prototype then you come up with a possible solution and the, or the solution that you think is most viable and then you test it again you test it on the, on the client so design thinking in the MBA program in our executive MBA and in our MBA program is really about giving you another tool that you can put in your toolbox to use when you're uh, tackling difficult, often intractable type problems. And it's really about, um, as I've said uh, over and over, understanding the problem first, researching the problem, spend that initial time up front, understand the end user and the client, think outside the box, prototype, test, start again, and then what you'll eventually come up with is a unique uh, client-focused solution. So really what we're doing here is in addition to the content of each of the individual subjects that um, are in the MBA program, which are essentially giving you opportunities to learn about a, a discipline, yeah. we're also reinforcing that with a way of thinking and solving problems. What makes a great manager? Not necessarily the one who knows a lot of stuff, mm. but the one who solves a lot of problems. problems. So it's another solve, problem solving thing. Fantastic, you, you hit the nail on the, on the head. So the idea for our, our program, and this is why, you know, there may be a little bit of hiccup because we've only started introducing this into uh, our foundation unit which is currently business in a global context since 2014. So some of you may have been traveling through the program mm -hmm. and missed that initial induction to design thinking methodology. And now you're starting to hear it around the place. Um, 
but you have uh, actually didn't do that first uh, component. Uh, not to worry, there will be design thinking um, um, again in the capstone unit. You'll come across it again there, but don't worry. It's not about aesthetics. It's not about font. It's not about <laughs> making you a uh, graphic designer. It's about you using a tool that you can use to solve complex business problems. But that's been really helpful to all of us, and um, thanks very much. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.